Join me today as we draw a surprise present. To do a surprise drawing, the first thing that we need to do is fold our paper. So we're going to take the top edge of our paper and bring it down to the bottom edge and fold it in half. So once I have it lined up there, I like to start in the middle and move myself up and then out towards the edge. Right. Once I have my paper folded in half, I'm going to take the top half, bring it up to the top folded edge, and fold it backwards on itself. This is going to create what's called a zigzag fold, and you can see my zigzag there in the corner. All right. Okay. This is also now how the paper is going to pop open for that surprise. All right. Now, let me go ahead and grab my marker, and you can start with any color that you want. I just happen to have a black marker right with me, so I'll start with black. I'm going to start with the lid to my present, and right along this edge, I'm going to put the lid of my present, and I'm just going to do the um, bottom portion of the lid first. I'm going to make a little skinny rectangle going across there, and then I'm going to put the present coming up. Right. It kind of looks like a hat in a way. Now I'm going to add the rest of my present down below. So again, just coming on down and drawing in that present. Once I have my present, I'm going to put a little bow on it. And I'm going to draw the top portion of my bow. Just sort of a loop and another loop on the other side. If you want to, you can add more loops or a little bump in the middle. I can add a ribbon coming down, I can cut across and come straight down, or you can jump it underneath, all right? So right now it kind of looks like I've weaved it, all right? So you can take your pick, either jump across or come straight across. Now, I didn't draw straight across on the bottom edge, so when I pick it up it looks like it's contained. What I want to do is make these lines just a little bit longer, so that way when the paper is loose a little bit, it still shows as a present. And then I'm going to cut across it. So I'm coming up a little bit higher. And that way if it pops up a little bit, it doesn't matter as much. All right. Once I have it finished my bottom of my box, this is where my surprise is going to come through. It's going to be here in the middle. And so now I'm ready to start to draw whatever I want to put in my box. And today I'm going to be putting a big bear. All right. So I'm going to draw the head of my bear and give my bear some ears. And you can draw the inside of the bear's ears. And I'm going to give him a great old big snout, and a nose, and some eyes. And I can make heart-shaped eyes. Maybe I'm going to give him one eye and one normal eye. You can decide how that's going to go. And give him a smile. All right. I'm going to give him some arms reaching out to give you a hug. And I'm going to put his belly, and I'm going to let the belly go right underneath as if he's coming out of the present. All right, so I'm just going to let it go right inside. All right, I can make the belly part of him, and I can decorate him however I want. All right, and then your last step is just to add color. You can add whatever colors you would like. I think I'm going to make my ribbon green, so I'm going to close my present back up and color in my ribbon going across. And then, surprise, there's my little bear. All right, and now I can start coloring him. All right, I think I'm going to give him a little pink belly. And the more you color, the fancier he's going to look. Don't forget about using your patterns when you're coloring if you want to. Give him a little pink on the inside. I think I'm going to give him a little black nose. So call and color his nose in. All right. And how about some little blue eyes? And again, you can do this however you would like. You're making it up. You're deciding what your little bear is going to look like how you're going to draw it, how you're going to color it. It's really, really all up to you. Anyway, have a great day making some surprise presents. All right? You could make a different surprise for everyone in your family if you wanted to. All right? Have a great Christmas.